listen up because we're going to show you how to become a better investor. So as a venture capitalist or angel investor, do you need a lawyer, right? Do you need somebody who can guide you through the, through, you know, the investment process? Now, these are three areas in which you might consider getting an attorney to help you. We use both attorney and lawyer interchangeably, depending on the, 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 the person they prefer to be called different terms, but let's say lawyer. There are three reasons why you might need a lawyer. The first is the term sheet. The term sheet is a document that's provided by the startup usually and to investors to consider for an investment. The term sheet outlines everything, the who, what, where, and how of the investment, the amount of money you're going to put in, and basically the amount of control you'll get out of it, meaning the amount of equity you'll receive. If you're uncomfortable or you don't really understand the boilerplate or the terms of that contract, take this to an attorney, somebody who's reputable, and, and find out from them whether the terms are favorable or not and really you know how much money could you make or lose the, the, that's what a term sheet is it's about economics and control and a lawyer could help you the second is if there is a change in control right if there's a change in control in so much that a, a, a you've invested in a company and something happens it either goes boom or goes bust if there are investments most more more often than not they go boom but some go bust at that particular moment, if there's a change in control, how does it affect you personally? Go back to the term sheet. What were the economics and what were the control and what happens? Is there a liquidation preference in the original document? That's a document term for the term sheet. If there's a change in control. Now, the third thing, which could also be the second, but the third thing are your taxes. It's obviously important. You need to keep up on your taxes. You know, be very organized about the investment you made and how much, what are the economics of those investments, how much control you received, and what are the tax impl implications. If you're unsure about the tax implications, right, what is an 83, you know, B, what are the elections that you can take, the 409s, right? Those we'll talk about later in the course, but if you're unsure about the tax implications of your investment as an angel investor, bring it to a qualified tax attorney to help you. If you've got more questions, visit angelkings.com.